Hello and welcome to Max, Mechanized Assault and Exploration. This is a turn-based strategy game made and published by Interplay Productions in 1996. It got very good reviews from the critics, but the players for some reason didn't like it. Uh, probably because it was said to be quite complicated. And uh, in, those, in those years, there were a lot of strategy games. There was uh, Warcraft 2 a bit before then, Command and Conquer, Command and Conquer Red Alert, Starcraft after it, uh, Dark Reign, Seventh Legion, lots and lots of strategy games, kind of like FPS games are today. And uh, this one kind of got lost, and ever since I have tried it recently, I wanted to do a video on it, at least one, uh, to show it off. And uh, in this video, I am going to do the first three training missions. There's a kind of campaign, there are 15 missions, and the first three are quite easy. Uh, they are mining and storage, acquire one mineral and one fuel, use the engineer to build one material storage building and one fuel tank. Okay, we can do that, that's pretty easy. So these are the options for the game. You can set the difficulty of the computer opponent. We are going to play on expert. This is the smartest opponent with no uh, cheat. The others have uh, a production bonus. Turn timers, this is mostly for multiplayer if you want to Make sure that the other player completes his turn in a reasonable time. Play mode, uh, turn-based and simultaneous. This is so that both players can do their turn at the same time. It changes the mechanics a bit and you probably don't want to use this against the computer because the computer is very fast and it will also wait for you, obviously. It, is. it has infinite patience. So let's just get onto it. So this is the interface here, you can see the unit that I have selected, you can rotate it a bit if you want. These are its statistics. It has hit points, a cargo, which I'll talk about later, and speed, which is how far it can move in that turn. You see, I'm spending turns. So we'll just go ahead and build the storage building. And, uh, well, actually, let me explain the rest of the interface. So uh, this is the for centering on the unit. Here we can, uh, well, we just have one unit, so we can't cycle between them. This is a kind of help, help tool tip, I guess. Uh, these are the goals that we want to do. And uh, something that was quite unique to this game in that time, and still is really, is that you can zoom in and out quite smoothly. So you can just zoom out until you see the entire map, and uh, your units are just single pixels on the map. And that's quite interesting. I really like it when a strategy game has that. And uh, of the modern type, uh, at least for the real-time strategy games, only Supreme Commander had it. And uh, even games like StarCraft 2 don't, so... But don't you wish they did? I mean, if you could zoom out in StarCraft, that would be pretty cool, actually. It's such a little thing. So we will build a storage unit and uh, this is the building or construction menu. Here you can select in how many turns you want to build. So you can spend more materials and build it faster. And uh, the cost scales up linearly. So we can spend double the amount to build it in half the time. And we'll do that. We'll build a storage unit in one turn. So this is all we can do on this turn, really. And uh, let's just end it. And this is now our second turn, because there's no computer opponent right now. There will be in the second and third missions, though. So let's just build the fuel tank as well in one turn. Okay, so you saw, you saw uh, at the start of the turn, when the building was completed, I could select where the unit would exit, sort of. So that's kind of interesting as well. And that should be the end of it. No? Yes. Okay, so these are the statistics that you usually get in strategy games. Let's go on to the second mission. Construct a light vehicle plant and a gun turret. Okay, same settings. Okay, so now we have some new units. We have scouts. I can turn on or off these names. Uh, this is the tank, this is the constructor. So we are tasked with building 
the light vehicle plant, which I will do in five turns as well. There's no reason to delay building anything in these tutorials because, but later it, uh, it proves to be useful. So you saw we can select the sort of tape where we want to build it. Uh, the constructor has to be in one of the squares, but otherwise we are free to do as we please. And I will move this tank down here. And we also have to build a turret, which I will do right here, I guess. So this is the turret. Let's see if we can transfer. So this is the mining station. It mines a certain number of minerals and fuel and gold per turn. And we can transfer that to the engineer so that it can build stuff. So you can see now it has sufficient materials to build it in one turn because we transferred it to the engineer. So we will do that. The graphics in this game are pretty decent. I think, okay, so the enemy was destroyed. I knew that was going to happen because I have played this, this tutorial like five times already as I was recording and have not been happy with the end result. I hope this time it will be okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to show is that you can display the range uh, the unit can fire and you can display the range that it can detect other units in. So you can see this scout can fire a short distance but it can detect a very high distance well high long that's and the tank can fire as far as it can see the turret can actually fire a bit further than it can see so it can use a uh, a scout to assist it and then it can fire further than it can detect enemies and now we will just wait for the light vehicle plant to finish building and that will be the end. Let's move a tank up here actually. Begin. Standing by. Just in case. So yeah, the AI in this game is quite good. Begin. You'll see in the next mission. Uh, the AI will actually avoid conflict Begin. if it thinks that it can't win. Okay, so that's it. It's completed. That should be the end of the mission. Or perhaps another turn. Okay, so that was it. You can see there was an opponent this time. So we will build a power generator to operate the light vehicle plant, then build three scouts and we will construct a heavy vehicle plant. Okay, we can do all that. We already have some turrets this time, which is great. Begin. We'll move one scout over here. All systems go. And we need to build a power Away generator. Orders. And let's transfer some more materials to the engineer so we can build it more quickly. Transfer complete. All systems go. Okay, so we have another constructor. And we need to construct the heavy vehicle plant. Let's transfer some minerals as well and let's build it in 15 turns. Okay, well. So this is the tape. You can select where it goes. Like I said, that's about all we can do on that turn. And let's zoom out a bit. Let's display scanning ranges. Okay, so that's the power station on and now we can build scouts. And we will build one per turn. Uh, the power generator is automatically turned on. Okay, so the scout has been finished in one turn and now we can select where it exits the plant. Which is kind of odd, you know, you would think there would be a canonical way to exit a building, but okay. Oh, so we can see it detected 
some scouts, some enemy scouts, which came here because uh, the scouts can see our base and they knew that we couldn't see them. But as soon as I exited with the scout, uh, we could detect them. And now I think they will probably run away. If. Unless I'm wrong. They should run away. Yes, you see. It went just outside the range of our uh, of our turret. So now we're just waiting for the heavy vehicle plant to finish building. There will be enemies coming from down as well. The graphics in this game are pretty good. They are detailed. At least when you zoom in fully they are uh, you know, comparable or even better than Red Alert. And certainly StarCraft. Although the perspective is kind of odd because you look at it like that. And the terrain is a bit simple as well. Uh, you can see there's... Uh, that's pretty much it as far as terrain goes. So again, there is a scout in our range and we can destroy it. That's good. The less scouts there are, the less the enemy can see our base. So we still have about 10 turns to go, or 9. Most of the missions in this game seem to be limited uh, by the number of turns you can do. So in the first mission, in the first campaign mission, you have to complete an objective in uh, in 30 turns and then in the second mission you have 30 turns to last uh, for the mission to complete so seems to be like that but it's not annoying because I think at least in the first mission you have plenty of time to complete it if you you know if you do a decent job but you can't turtle in this game At least so far, I mean. I've only completed the first mission of the campaign, which is already quite a decent challenge, I think. Uh, this, uh, The campaign certainly isn't any sort of uh, tutorial or anything. This is the tutorial. And the campaign begins, you know, just full on out. Okay, so we have uh, two turns left, and no more enemies. There should be some, I think, some tanks. Okay, one more turn. Okay, so that is it. It's completed. And what can this build? Well, it can build constructors and tanks, at least in this mission. And later there's a lot more. There's missile launchers and so on. And you also have naval units and air units. But this is this, this is it for this mission, I believe. Okay. It's interesting, there aren't any tanks. Okay, so that's it. I have completed the first three missions of the tutorial and I will do the next three in the next video. And you might be thinking, well, you know, what's the story of this game? What's the setting? Well, as far as I understand the manual, which is kind of cryptic, the story is that humans have been recruited by some sort of galactic body to fight for uninhabited planets so the human commanders are uh, their brains are extracted from them and they are put in charge of these 
mechanical units that battled it out for the resources of uninhabited planets because uh, after some total wars the the galactic council or whatever has decided that inhabited planets are off limits they won't fight on them anymore but as resources are pretty tight and most planets are, are already taken uh, they have decided to fight over those with machines although there are also colonists as well in the game it seems there are these ecospheres or arcologies or whatever so I can't actually you know it, you can't go back and forwards here it, it is just random so uh, so there are some humano humanoid units as well I think these are anti-tank units uh, you, there are submarines uh, platforms transporters I think that's a supply truck, power generator, mines. Not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's an arcology. I think that's a mine layer. That's some uh, reconnaissance plane. Transporter. I think that might be the mine layer as well. Uh, missile launchers. What are, oh, these are infiltrators. They can take over enemy units or disable them for a turn. Uh, I think also some other things. Anti-tank units. Not sure what that is. That's a research center, maybe, I think. Well, anyway, that's it for now. And uh, I will do some more of Max later, I guess. Thanks for watching.